Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today, in previous session, I have already talked about uh, Amazon Elastic Cache, and and with that, I have already demonstrated like how we can use Elastic Cache with Redis, and then how we can connect from the Lambda, and then how we can connect from the EC2 instance. And today's session, I will cover how we can create the mem cache D, uh, from the Amazon Elastic Cache, and then how we can connect that mem cache D from EC2 instance. Okay, guys. And for Python, it's almost same similar approach. If you have not yet watch my previous video about the Redis cache, how I have connected from Python from the Lambda. Please have a look, then you will get an idea like how we can do uh, like by Python program, how you can connect the Elastic cache. Still, if you have any doubt while you are doing, then please put those command like uh, whatever doubt you have, put this video uh, command section. I will address those. OK, guys. So let me show you before creating that Elastic cache for Memcached. Let me give you some theoretical knowledge, like what could be the difference between uh, like Redis and Memcached. So here Redis I make as a R and Memcached I make as a M. So I am just di di differentiating this. So so Redis basically it's allow user to keep data on a disk as a some point of time as a snapshot, like whatever data we are storing as in cache, right? If you want to store that in a disk. Redis will allow you to store the data in a uh, as a snapshot in a disk, but uh, whereas memcached, right? It won't allow you to store the data in that disk. Like that support is not there. Okay, guys. So that's the one uh, difference. But both have that uh, like a distributed and multi-cluster. Like uh, this, that's uh, both like Redis and memcached. Both are like support like multi-cluster and distributed caching system. And what one more difference is like uh, uh, like Redis does not support that native clustering, but whereas that memcached will support the native clustering, you can uh, use that as a native cluster for memcached. And one more difference is like uh, while you are using Redis, right? That uh, key size will be like around 5 to 12 MB per key, uh, like key value that size. Whereas like memcached, that is value is uh, limited, like uh, that max 1 MB per key. Uh, like you can store and one more thing like a uh, redis like provide like defined kind of like uh, like to manipulate the data right there are different kind of like a uh, hashing mechanism it support like hash set list those things whereas uh, memcached basically it's a recommended way like to use like a multi-threaded environment uh, to and one more like memcached one more good use case i can say like uh, today's world like suppose we have we are a e-commerce website right where the e-commerce website like suppose we have like uh, that the offers like different kind of offers or coupon wish to give right those coupon instead of fetching every whenever user log into that particular website either flipkart or amazon right instead of uh, each and every time for that particular user so that coupon what we can do once we publish the coupon we can store in cache from the cache like memcached we can uh, utilize that okay guys but one more good difference is like uh, compared to redis memcached like it's very fast like uh, compared to redis okay guys since uh, redis it support this kind of thing right but i then i will come right but whereas that memcached there is no disk snapshot so that's why it is very fast and lightweight okay guys so now let's go to that. I hope you got the clear idea about the memcached and then Redis. OK, guys, so let's go to the AWS console. So this is my AWS console where I have already logged in in the Virginia region. And this is the Elastic Cache. It's a same thing what I have explained that in the Redis session. So let's go straight forward. Just go and create that uh, memcached here. So if you click here, so create memcached and then give the name. Cast. This is optional and what the engine version you want to take here. Multiple engine version is available, so let's click that latest one only. And this is the default port 11211 for memcached. This is the default port and this is again one more thing I would say like uh, this memcached also like a uh, distributed cluster support like how the Redis will support distributed like multiple node right. This memcached also will support multiple nodes. So now for this today's demo, let's keep single day, uh, node only. And here is the uh, parameter groups and then type. If you want, you can change the type as per your requ requirement. So and then come to IP same section here. 
and here also we need subnets group. So this is the subnet group I have created while I have demonstrated the Redis one. So same subnet group I am using here. And if you don't want to use this one, you can create as per your need. And then this one, then availability zone. Here one more option like which availability zone. If you have any any agents uh, like a requirement, any agent you want to specify, you can give that. Otherwise, let's keep no preference. Let's. Uh, uh, memcast server let's decide and then here one more thing like security group so we need to select one security group so let's select manage and i have two security group one is this this one and another one is this one so let's choose this one but guys keep in mind uh in that uh, whatever port we are uh, trying to connect right? one one two one one right that port should be allowed in this security group Similar for Redis also, like whatever port we are giving, right? That port should be allowed in the security group. Otherwise, you can't connect. Okay, guys. So if you not yet watch how we can inbound outbound rule, we can set up in the security group. If you not yet watch my security group video, I would suggest you you we can have a look for the more details. Okay. Then maintenance window, if you want to specify it, you can specify it. Uh, let's keep default no preference now since it is our demo, right? Let's go to the next tag is optional. If you want, you can give now. This is the cluster setting location and this is the port and number of node. This is the node type and this is the parameter group. IPv4 availability zone. These are the availability zone and sub subnet group. And then these are the thing we have selected. Let's clear this. OK. So now it is creating. It won't take much time. Meantime, what? from that issue instance we are trying to connect right so let me show you that uh, command what the command basically we are going to use to connect here uh, either you can do the tail net or you can curl command so tail net sometime it won't be available in that issue instance we have to install that installation command is very simple like uh, if you just type yum install this is the command i will give in this video links so that it will be helpful to you guys Otherwise, if you not in root user, then better to put here sudo. OK, so in my Redis already I have installed that uh, tail net in the same EC2 instance. I will try to connect here now and tail net. Uh, this is the command tail net host and port or if you want to do curl, then curl v tail net colon then host port. <laughs> this is the command. OK, guys. So now one more thing like uh, let me explain that. When you are trying to set this in this cache, right? So setting uh, or add, there are two make way we can add. One is set and add. So what is that? Like uh, first parameter is the key. What key you are going to set, and then that second one is the flags, and then expiry time, how much byte want, and no reply if you want. That is optional, and then value. So this is the thing we can set, and this is the sample example set. 0 0 and this is the byte length like four eight digit character only we can set right this is like zero let we'll see this will throw error because it's eight right so i will show you that also okay and this is the security group we have to enable this port okay guys so let's go to it here let's see is it deployed it will take some time to deploy okay guys Meantime, let me create one EC2 instance. I will show you how we can uh, install the tail net here also. Okay. By default, tail net will be not there. So let me show you that. Okay. Let's select everything. How we can launch the EC2 instance? This is how. For more details, I would recommend it. You guys can have a look of my EC2 instance video. But there I have already explained this advanced details, all these things. And I have already demonstrated many times this, all these things. So you guys can have a look. For this, I need just simple EC2 instance. So I no need to select anything. Let's advance whatever it is there. Let's keep default. OK, let's create. Now my EC2 instance creation is done. So it is impending. Like it will take some time to come up. Just wait. Now let's connect this issue to instance. 
do essa saída é especificar esse do user and go to the advanced use private key and select that key is connect so it is connected to do IC. Let's switch to the super user. Now we are going to connect the memcached by telnet, right? TL. Let's see telnet. So no telnet. So let's install yam update and why. So it will not ask prompt. Okay. Now let's yum install telnet. Yes. Now we install telnet also, it's completed install. So now if you see telnet. Okay, so invalid option. Okay. Okay, these are the options is supported. Okay. So now let's go to that. At least now telnet is converted. Right? Even though it is in the earlier, it was telnet is not found. Right? So by this, we can confirm like telnet install. Other way, we, what we can do RPM minus QA uh, grep. Uh, this is one way. Another way is yum installed to do. Okay, here it's RPM minus hyphen Q. We can get to know that right? this is the telnet version is installed. Okay, guys, this is the RPM. Okay. Now let's try here. Now let's see this. This it is up. We connected. Now tell demo. Now our tell this memcached server also available. And this is the port. We can copy this. Now let's go to here. Telnet. Now it is connected, right? Now what we can do, we can set like, uh, let me show you that these are the command we can use here. So that error scenario first, let me show you that. Okay, now let's set. It will give error because why it is a chunk value, right? So now let me change this nine character because my cloud tag have nine characters. Stored, right? Now if you just do get name, see we can see our value is stored, right? Similarly, we can add by add also we can do add suppose. Uh, what I can say like uh, demo and then zero, zero. Then I can give like memcached or maybe I can give three character max. Okay. Now set in M. Okay. Let's see store. Now let's get demo. See. Like this, we can connect the memcached from uh, like uh, EC2 instance and we can play around this. Either it's uh, this add or get method, we can do this. So this is how we can do memcached launch and we can connect. And if you want to delete this, one more thing, guys, you can take the backup also. Let me show you that here. If you click here, reboot, uh, modify. Okay, memcached backup is not support. Redis, we have that support backup. Like. Uh, but memcached is not there. So if you want to clean up this, like just click here, then it will directly delete. But if you have a Redis, there we have that uh, mechanism. If you want to take backup, you can take as a backup snapshot kind of thing. Okay, guys. So if you want to delete now, how we can delete? Let's select this one and delete. Just click on delete. It will delete. So it will delete. It will take some time. So I will recommend whenever you are doing practicing or learning, right? I would recommend always do that cleanup. Otherwise, it will be unnecessary. Some charges will be there. So to overcome this charge, I will always recommend delete those. Now this we cannot delete. Why? Because it is still using. It will say some error because that uh, 
cache is mem cache d cache is still going on delete so after once that delete is complete then only you can delete this subnet group okay guys so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this is a valuable to you then please do like share and subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me and i will come uh, some other topic in my next subsequent video okay chalo bye see you guys